Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Cancer. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of April 2020. All right, you have the Ten of Pentacles, a lot of abundance, opportunities coming your way. Uh, for some of you guys, this could symbolize working within the home. Uh, for others of you, uh, it could also symbolize uh, looking for expansion in regards to your business and finances. Now, you do have the Three of Wands here. Three of Wands could symbolize expansion being... Uh, okay, so what they're telling you here is that for a lot of you guys, you're going to be experiencing like wanting to achieve goals or perhaps for some of you guys creating new goals. Um, but there is some, there needs to be some type of grounding into these goals and aspirations that you're wanting. Uh, the three of wands is expansion and growth, waiting for things to come to you in the reverse position, um, which is the obstacle, um, not reverse, sorry. In the obstacle position, it could represent... Um, being a bit of a procrastinator it's kind of like hoping for abundance oh i want you know to bring in abundance i want you know this i want that but are you really doing things that you're supposed to be doing to get you to that point or are you just expecting that the universe you know and the goddess and god are going to come down and tell you now is the opportunity to do it cancer so again you need to be more grounded you need to be more um concise in the steps that you're taking to achieve this stability that you're looking for now your next card is the six of swords uh moving away from a situation for some of you guys uh, could have been a secluded type of situation um it could have been that perhaps you weren't as inspired and that's why you were procrastinating uh with the ace of pentacles again there is a promise for new beginnings there's a new pathway uh new ways and forms of making money now, what's on your mind here is the ace, uh, sorry, the star card. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Aquarius. For others of you, you may be dealing with an Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with uh, Fire Energy as well, as we do have here. Uh, the Three of Wands uh, could signify Aries, um, Aries, Sagittarius, or, or Leo. Um, but what they're ultimately here, what they're telling you is that procrastinating is not going to help you get to the point where you want to be or feeling financially secure. And this could be with relationships as well. This could have been a situation where perhaps you felt like you were uneasy or didn't really know where you stand with the person that you were interested in. Uh, what's on your mind is you're wanting a, you're wanting a wish to be fulfilled six of swords moving on or moving towards that goal uh but again i highly encourage you guys to really have grounding uh to really put uh into put really put effort into what it is that you're trying to achieve and then taking little steps towards that so it could be like as an example if you have you know if you're wanting to achieve a goal that you've never done before and it is extremely, you would consider it extremely, like, extremely a miracle if it manifested, as an example. Then you don't have to think of that huge just to sit and wait for that opportunity. That, that, that's kind of like procrastinating. And what they're saying is take or make little goals that are going to take you to that major one that you would consider life-changing. Uh, so take what you have to do uh, to in order to, to even if it's like one step at a time in order to get you to that point. And that point would be that point of, of takeoff. So again, don't procrastinate cancer. Now, your next card here is the Empress card. So for some of you guys, it could even be like hoping, hoping or wanting to get pregnant uh, for this month of April. Uh, for others of you, I'm sorry to say this, but for some of you guys, it could even be like trying to tie down a specific person uh, through pregnancy so again think of not just the now but the bigger picture and what is it that you're doing to get you there uh, as an example if you're a woman and you've been having trouble in your relationship or you're unsure where you stand with this person uh, are you certain that getting pregnant is something that is going to 
you know, help you, bring you closer to your partner. Uh, as an example, do they have children? And if they do, are they close to the children? Because if they're not and they rarely take time, what makes you think that you're going to be the exception? I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, now we have the Knight of Swords here. So yeah, I feel that for some of you guys, those of you guys that are wanting uh, to get pregnant or hoping to get pregnant, I hope it's because you're wanting to have a child not because you're trying to keep someone from walking away from you. Um, but if that's the case, what they're telling you is the uh, the opportunity for you to actually conceive is going to be very heightened for the month of April. Now, we do have here the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is all about um, quick movement. And what they're telling you here as an advice, I feel that it's coming up in the reverse position. So this would symbolize... Don't rush into making decisions, especially if they're going to be long lasting, like long uh, altering life decisions based off of something temporary. Really take your time to analyze and think what it is that you want. What is the action that you're going to take and understand that there's consequences to that. OK, so the message here is for the month of April, don't be irrational. Don't make a quick sudden decisions based off temporary feelings now your next card is the six of pentacles this is the energy currently influencing or around you this could also symbolize your partner six of pentacles represents balance it also represents give and take so for those of you guys in regards to your finances you will be uh, surrounded or you will be experiencing feeling almost like being put at the right time in the right situation with the right people that are going to be very inspiring to you, that are really going to push you uh, to do best for yourself uh, and bring out the best in you. Now, when it comes to relationships, again, the Six of Pentacles is all about uh, balance, the give and take. It's not just take, take, take. So with the Six of Pentacles here and the energy uh, representing your partner, I do see them being very reciprocative. I do see them really uh, putting effort or energy, perhaps some of you guys, this could be something that both of you guys have been wanting for quite a while. Now, your next card is the Eight of Pentacles, putting time and effort into your craft, putting time and effort into fixing a relationship or progressing the relationship or deepening that connection. For others of you, the Eight of Pentacles could just represent putting pretty much your nose to the grindstone and really, uh, cementing uh, those goals that you're trying to achieve focus in your craft for some of you guys it could be like writing being inspired to write for others of you really getting a lot of inspiration from situations and circumstances of other people around you uh, so again really tap into that creative energy uh, especially with the empress here and finally your card here is the five of pentacles five of pentacles is that of instability so again with the ten of pentacles it's all about stability financial stability and progress the five of pentacles represents ultimately your fear cancer uh, perhaps the fear of feeling like you're never going to find that financial stability you're looking for perhaps that's something you really fear deep down in your subconscious mind if that's the case try to understand where that fear is coming from it's not about ignoring like you know trying to ignore that that's one of your fears because the more you ignore it the more you suppress it the stronger it becomes it's just finding out or really understanding where that fear is coming from and then putting effort into either healing or putting effort into really uh taking it to the next level to keep you from uh, that circumstance and to see yourself um, I want to say, you know, a month from now, as an example, see yourself really progressing uh, in regards to your financial stability. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of clarity and we'll see each other soon. Bye.